Welcome back, back viewers to another edition of uh, Focus on Africans, the program where we bring interesting uh, personalities, Africans and uh, people with connection to Africa. Today we have uh, we are privileged to have one of, uh, yeah, I would say even one of the most interesting personalities we bring uh, to this program. She's a lady from Cameroon and uh, she was in Paris, France, now she lives in uh, Amsterdam. She's a Dutch citizen, but we've spoken to a quite, a num quite a number of people on this program. There's very few packed the same point, <laughs> the same point as uh, the lady we're going to be talking to today. Uh, without much ado, viewers, please help me welcome uh, Angel Etundi Ezamba to focus on Africans. Welcome, Angel. How are you, ma'am? Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, for welcoming us to your nice uh, studio in the art of Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. um, we we'll start the program by asking our guests to introduce themselves. Who is uh, Angela? Uh, what can you tell us about yourself? Well, just uh, that I am... Um, <laughs> I'm Angel, Angel Itundi Samba. I was mm -hmm. born in Cameroon. Uh, uh, yeah. Grew up there till my till the age of ten. Then moved to Paris. So but you were there until the age of ten. Until age of ten, yes. What are your recollections of uh, Cameroon when you were growing up? What do you remember? From A lot, because life. you know, I think the ten first years of your life are just mm, very yes. Yes. Mm. So tell us childhood the and uh, you know the family, mm. uh, the friends, the playing outside. I mean, it just it was just a, a great life without too much worries and. Without uh, too much worries, you were too young to worry to have worries. Uh, yeah. And the well, parents, the but, parents were there. But it was just uh, you know we were like living in a um, a kind of of. Um, um, Extended family? Yes. Uh, okay, you know, uncle, all together, my grand grandparents, uh, uncle, mm -hmm. aunties, uh, <laughs> and uh, Everybody was family. nephews. And so it was just a big clan. Um, and yeah. uh, this this was for me, uh, yeah, something um, quite. Okay. Uh, now, which impressive. part of Cameroon did you grow up? Um, I grew up uh, in Yaoundé. I was mm -hmm. born in Douala, uh, wow. where my mother is from mm -hmm. uh, and uh, then later we moved to Yaoundé where my father is coming from. Mm -hmm. So you grew up in the two largest uh, cities in uh, exactly. Cameroon. Yes. Um, for, this, uh, for the benefit of our viewers, mm -hmm. how will you compare the two cities, Yaoundé and Douala? Uh, Yaoundé is more the politic. Yaoundé is uh, first of all the capital okay. uh, and uh, it's um, Politics, politic uh, uh, capital, this is where the president is and, and all ministers. the ministers, uh, embassies and oh, okay, okay. all this. And uh, Yaoundé, it's uh, much more, it's uh, commercial. commercial, you know, the, mm. we have there the heaven? Heaven? Abo. The harbor, the harbor. Okay, yeah, we yeah. have there the, the harbor mm -hmm. and uh, the airport. Uh, we also have an international airport in Yaoundé, so we have in Yaoundé and in Douala. But uh, let's say Douala is more where all the activities, the, the activities, activities okay. uh, um, in another way, more commercials. Uh, okay, people things. selling, yeah. busy, more busier it's than... It's more life, it's more... Oh. Wow. Yeah. But growing up in two cities, uh, did you ever go to the interior of Cameroon to experience life in the village? Um, you know, when I left Cameroon in 72, yeah. uh, like I said, I was 10 years old okay. and then I went back 15 years la later, later and uh, at that moment I really feel a very strong need of discovering visiting, the village. yes, uh, so, uh, discovering uh, and I did that, I really uh, made a tour a okay. and uh, from north to down to south mm -hmm. and uh, East but before that, you, uh, you knew only Douala and Yaoundé? Yes, oh. yes. So what was the experience like traveling around the country? It was just breathtaking. It was terrific. You discovered your country? I discovered my country and uh, also because I missed it so for so long, for 15 years. 
I just wanted to well, embrace the whole thing yeah, at, yeah. at once, you know. <laughs> and yeah. it was for me, it was just a great experience, but also a culture shock, you know. The like, differences? Uh, or yeah, but uh, or not so much in, in the, 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 it was much more me coming back after so long. And, and discovering yourself. And discovering myself mm -hmm. and uh, remembering a lot of things, lot you of know, up. yes, uh, up, lot recognizing things, things uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that I saw. Yeah, that you were 10 years when you went to Paris. Yes. What is the story? What did you go through here? It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a long story, but uh, anyway, I went there part because of health problem okay. and um, and and then uh, yeah there I was and then oh. I stayed there grew up there oh, and then years. yeah yeah coming from Cameroon to a big place like uh, Paris mm -hmm. when we were young we used to say see Paris and die mm -hmm. for us it was mm -hmm. uh, heavily what were your first impression of Paris um, it was hard right. it was really hard because you know um, at the time I left my country. Um, mm -hmm that time it was not we were not used to to it, it wasn't usual to have our parents uh, explain us uh, mm. i mean prepare you that you are going well, uh, and and of course i knew that i was mm. leaving and and what was going to happen but the 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 change was so huge this was also was not a world. shock. Yeah, it was a different world, mm -hmm. and I arrived like in a in a time. It was January seventy two in a winter, mm -hmm. a hard winter, snow, everything. Duh. All was new for me, and I've never heard about but snow, snow about all this, and and then of course the you know being in a in a space where you don't you don't have the outside, you don't play outside so you anymore. So it was, it was just too much at once. Mm. Why you not with and your parents? Sorry? Were you with your parents? Uh, my father was already mm. there, okay, but not okay. my sister and my okay, brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was the first one coming, mm -hmm. and then it was just like... Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Where I am, mm -hmm. and uh, okay. you know, when you are like... I, I wasn't even ten, I was mm. nine, mm. nine, and it was so just... It's a difficult uh, period. Yes, it was a difficult period. So for me, mm -hmm. it was far from, heaven. you know, from heaven. No, nope. from see Paris and die. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see Paris and die. <laughs> okay, but you lived in Paris for a long time. Yes. Uh, so you yes. studied there. Yes. What uh, was the experience uh, like? Yeah? Um. Well, you know, uh, as child, you 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 kind of get used very quickly to yeah, the adjust. environment yeah. and to. So things just were went very very quick mm -hmm. and uh, yeah then I, I I of course also started to discover the the great things of but Paris the uh, cultural life the cultural life uh, the museum having, and everything yeah well at that time you know I was not uh, uh, too much interested in in museum but okay. much more the the Parisian life, going yeah, out, going, and going drinking, to uh, standing, sitting outside, yeah, drinking coffee. And yes, and going to okay. the cinemas, friends, and mm. I mean, there are just many things to do in so Paris. So you get adjusted uh, to the shopping and yeah. <laughs> all this. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, later, much more later, around age 18, mm -hmm. 19, mm -hmm. 17, that's where the real interest started for. Mm -hmm. The art scene and uh, um, can you tell us something about your education? Um, in in which way? In uh, whatever school did you attend in uh, France? Uh, in France, actually, I, I just uh, um, attended my uh, secondary, mm, secondary school, school and, yeah. and then started. Um, uh, uh, to study philosophy, mm -hmm. what I didn't finish. <laughs> but why did you study uh, philosophy? <laughs> yeah, because I, 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 I was just you know I did my secondary school mm -hmm. in um, in um, 
it was a sp uh, specialized mm -hmm. in uh, um, literature, literature, li okay. literature, mm -hmm. and uh, mm. and uh, of course philosophy was one of the okay. highest uh, on the curriculum. Okay. Hi highest. Uh, um, okay, you studied philosophy. You started to study philosophy. Yes, mm -hmm. but also I really loved it. You know. You loved uh, philosophy. And uh, the theories or whatever. Yeah, thinking, yeah, just the ideas of the thinking, mm -hmm. you know, deep thinking, going yeah. deep into mm -hmm. things and trying to yeah. find the answers to complicated. Yes, uh, yes. and uh, okay. and then so yeah. Do you still uh, do you still dabble into philosophy? Do you still read the philosophy books? No, not <laughs> really, <laughs> not really. Okay, <laughs> and then uh, what happened? What after your philosophy? Um, well, like I said, I didn't, I, I, I didn't finish. I yeah. just stopped halfway, and also in between, I already started with photography, but much okay. more as an amateur, you know, following courses here and there with some friends okay. who really, uh, um, who who really. Uh, who who were who were much more advanced, advanced you know, okay. and really uh, what transmit was me the, the passion. You okay, know, so it was uh, uh, something your friends were doing, and then you wanted to. Do I, well, for me, the photography. When I look back, I just think it was already um, from the time I was in Cameroon. You know. Okay, you like but to take pictures of it. Yes, me. but because uh, um, you know. Um, in African culture, you yeah. know, they are, you cannot come up to your parents and tell them, I want to this is them. what I want to study, oh, or, you okay. know, it's very abstract to them. And uh, yeah. so the idea was there, mm -hmm. and uh, the fascination for the human being has definitely always been there. Okay. But uh, at that time, when it started to to come out, it was in Paris, you okay. know, that I experienced like the urge to do having a camera going and, around uh, and, and of not really going around and shooting because it, it was uh, more focused. Uh, yes, it was already more focused okay. and, and uh, also dark room work and all oh, this. Oh, it was this a pre digital. It was pre digital. Course, uh, time, absolutely, no? yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. It was all. Uh, so you went through the old uh, fashion uh, yes, development. Yes, I'm and really from the old fashioned oh. school, yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, of course, uh, the city also offered you a lot of uh, interesting things to shoot. Uh, yes. Or were, you uh, more, uh, were you more interested in, uh, in the people? In the people. I've always been more more interested not in, in the people. Monuments. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Uh, if I was uh, picturing um, monuments, uh, landscape, for yeah. instance, yeah. Um, it was always with the human being in it. You know. The human being remains the focus. Yes, mm. always, always. Do you know why? Uh, why that is? It's just the fascination. No it's just the fascination that I have for the human being. No As I, I, for me, it's it's also what is the most close yeah. to myself, you know. And uh, mm. yeah, I just think it's an an an, uh, an incredible um, how you say this incredible uh, subject uh, of inspiration. Okay. Yeah. Which is just never, never end. I mean, there are so many so things to From this fascination, you become a professional? Uh, yes. Did yes. You, uh, for, did you follow in formal uh, education? Yes. So time. after Paris, uh, uh, in 82, I arrived in the Netherlands. Uh, and. Um, yeah, so, uh, sorry to cut you, Angel. Why did you move to the Netherlands? <laughs> 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 yeah. Why to move to Netherlands? Oh, don't they have a, uh, the phot same thing. Don't they have a photography <laughs> <laughs> school in there? Love brought me to the oh, Netherlands. Okay, love yeah. Love, okay. love brought me to the Netherlands. Okay. And then? And uh, so then, you know, it was of course another change uh, yeah, in yeah. terms of language and me French and speaking, not speaking course, English. And um, so I thought it's going to be hard to continue my my study okay. in in 
this language, you know, in Dutch. So first of all, I started to learn a little bit Dutch, and then I did a couple of things, theater, fashion show, dance productions. Mm. Um, and uh, and then I, I said to myself, okay, you Not have really. to start with something serious. What are you, what do you really want to do? And then the photography idea came up. And you pick it up again. I pick it up. I is taking a course at the Dutch, yeah. Dutch school for mm -hmm. professional photographer, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. yeah. And after that, I just started. And you completed? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Viewers, say we take this short break. When we come back, we continue our discussion with uh, Angel uh, Tundi Esamba. Please don't go away. program focus on Africans hosted by the popular Pan-African writer Femi Akomolafe who has devoted his entire life to championing African cause we are like this problem and try to look for solution focus on Africans is a program to watch to meet with those with passion to build a better African for ourselves and the coming generations focus on Africans together we can build a better Africa Welcome back viewers, said the program is focused on Africans and uh, our guest today is uh, our sister from uh, the Cameroon, Angel uh, Tundi Asamba. She's the proprietress of uh, one of the big uh, art studios in Amsterdam. We show, we show you some of our work later. Um, Angel, welcome. Thank you. We were talking about, uh, so you did your photography education training in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. uh, you graduated and then what have you been doing since? Um, then I just started for myself. I, I, I knew of course I wanted to do the art, to go to art uh, direction okay. and uh, that means of course any photography it can be art but okay, for yeah, me... Yeah. Starting your own studio. Uh, not really my own studio, but uh, uh, exhibiting my work, okay. exhibiting my work to galleries, in galleries, in museum, and mm -hmm. showing it to people, okay. and uh, yeah, showing also that of course through photography you can communicate, you can well, express yourself. Yeah, you can some people after in their training they try, they work with them a studio. Mm -hmm. That was not your no, no, no. You were confident enough to be. On your I was quite confident. Okay. Yeah, I knew that I, you I were, knew what I capable. wanted to to do, what I wanted to show. That mm -hmm. I had a message, a clear message, also to, to, to give. Yeah. And, uh, um, but it doesn't mean it was that easy. You okay. Know? What was the message you wanted to give? Um. The message I want to give, you know, what, why I started, of course, as I said already, that my photography is focused on human beings mm -hmm. and mainly on women and mm, more specifically on black women because uh, the image that I used to see from a uh, 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 black woman in, huh? in, the in general, in the magazine or in, in the media, in, in the media I was not really comfortable with that. I didn't, couldn't identify myself with that, you know. So you and started by trying to make a political statement? Also, okay. also. Consciously. You know, consciously mm. wanted to break with stereotypes, with... Uh, uh, the image, and, uh, and the portrayal of a black woman. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, Why was that beauty interesting is to you? one thing, the exotism is one thing, but it's not <laughs> only that, you know. For me, I want to, to, to show something more... Inner strength. Yes, uh, more uh, inner strength, right? Uh -huh. Inner strength, pride, um, awareness, um, yeah, all this. That is a very that developed uh, idea, but you started quite young. How did you get uh, the urge to... 
Because it's something different. Uh, be, be, because I just saw that uh, it was not right. It, it was needed. We mm. needed. We needed. I needed to see other things, you know, other images where I could identify myself, whether mm. than only image of of uh, exotism or traditional images or mm. or poor images or you know of oppressed women and all this uh, that's that was really what what mm. uh, so drives me to do mm. what i'm doing, doing and well. yeah want to show women of uh, strength deeper than the superficiality of uh, yeah yeah mm. um women that it can pr i mean just showing that there is not only one side, yeah, you know, there is also another side and the art of it, you know, and what what, what did the, the made me continue is that people really recognize themselves in okay, my work. Okay, yeah. I mean, telling me that... Yes, yeah, that could be me. That's, yes, okay, yes. I yeah, we're going to show our viewers some of your work, which is, uh, yeah, I think it's... Uh, it uh, realistically portray what you are telling us. Mm -hmm. That uh, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, we look at uh, the magazines, and the images of the black women as uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Some yeah, yeah, polished, it's, it's, it's terrible. Wishes, uh, it's okay. You don't uh, really actually find them on the street. Yeah, but you know, everyone will ask me, where do you find your models? And I tell them, I mean. Just <laughs> on the street, it, yeah. there are people like you and me, mm, yeah, sure. and uh, this the the you know any photographer mm -hmm. uh, should be able to find. to to find this to bring if this if out, they want to you know huh? if and they want to yes if they want to but and uh, I always say even misery even poverty you mm -hmm. also can show it in a. Uh, with aesthetism, you know, okay. uh, you also can that show have to it. Be so stuck. Yes, uh, and so just ugly. so ugly and so, mm. so. Um, yeah, so inhuman also. So inhuman, you know. Mm. Uh, the humanity is yeah, very yeah. important. In your work, humanity is very important. Yes, people have to yes. retain their dignity. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And uh, what was the reaction of uh, the? Ex uh, of people where you want to exhibit your work, what was your reaction when you come up with this idea? You know, my first exhibition here, it, it was very difficult, first of all, because, uh, you know, people were not used to see a black woman uh, who is saying, calling herself photographer, <laughs> and so all this, you know, when you don't have role models, it's difficult, it's you know, uh, and... Um, so uh, my first exhibition came after my first interview, what was also very difficult to have. Mm -hmm. But the first interview, I will never forget it. It was like a black, a Cameroonian woman mm -hmm. in the uh, Amsterdam Zepek, which is a, a okay. an area here. Yeah. So it was something strange, you know. It was like a revolutionary shock. To and. <laughs> and um, and of uh -huh. course, being black, being a woman, being young, mm. being photographer, it was, really it was in a way, uh, it, 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 it doesn't uh, fit into the normal... It, it, uh, it didn't fit uh, yeah. for people yeah. to, to um, consider me serious enough, or, or, but at the, at the other way, it was it so strange them. that it, yeah, challenged them. it challenged them. And also that such a magazine, which was a good magazine yeah. in the former time, the Tide, Happy the Tide, the tide yeah, yeah. that they yeah. considered to do something yeah, about yeah. that. And, you know, when you have then the first interview, of course, Definitely. it opened doors. Definitely. And then you will get, yeah, then people will consider so to look at your work and, from, and so on and yeah, so on, so you know. So the Tide gave you a break. The interview yes, with the tide, yeah, yes. Yeah. They consider your work good enough to publish? Um, they consider, first of all, me as a person um, interesting, okay. you know. Inter was the in, uh, interview on your, on your personality also or on your work? Both. Oh, both. Okay, both. Okay. And uh, so then it, it, it just really opened doors okay. for me, yeah. And uh, since then it has remained open? 
Um, but not <laughs> always in the way yeah, I wanted. You know, way. people keep seeing you always as special because right. of course you just want to be special because of your work mm. not because you are black not because you are women not but because there's no way you can avoid that that's that's, exactly. body you have to that's no way you can avoid that yes. that's no way you can because avoid it's that. like you challenge the stereotype yeah yeah and that uh, does it make people uh, comfortable or well I think we are just in a society where people need to to put you in in category in categories you know mm -hmm. and this is just no way to, to avoid break it, it. Uh, yeah. to break out of yeah. the category mm. yeah um i have a convention to make uh, convention to make to you i've spoken to quite a lot of people and mm -hmm. uh, very few people i think nobody has as a travel extensively as uh, you who <laughs> among the people i've interviewed <laughs> to how many countries yeah. have you been Oh, um, <laughs> America, Asia, Cuba, um, China. Yeah, Cuba, China. <laughs> um, never been to India. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, but you've been to quite a lot. But of I've been to mm. quite a lot. Yeah, I have to say it's a big mm -hmm. privilege. Yeah. What uh, big have been the experiences then traveling around? The great, absolutely great. You feel wonderful. Absolutely great. I mean, this work, this artwork, brought mm -hmm. me in such place that I could have never mm -hmm. dreamed to to go. To, to go, you yeah. know, and to meet with people. And of course, it's always what remains and what yeah, is yeah, the yeah, most the you important: the people you meet mm -hmm. and. Uh, the, what you share with them, you know. Yeah. Let's, Let's begin there. Uh, uh, which of the con uh, cities you've been to impress you the most? Um, um, well, <laughs> I, I will not start with my own continent <laughs> because it's just, yeah, for yeah. me, Africa is always the place where, you know, to return, mm, you know, spiritual and, and uh, yes, uh, where I can recharge resource, your, you know, recharge and, your energy. and recharge my energy. Okay. And uh, it doesn't matter wherever in Africa. Yes, okay. uh, you feel so at home there? I, I, I just feel at, at home. Mm. Okay, outside, home. outside of Africa. Sorry? Outside of Africa. Outside of, uh, so first Africa, which yeah. countries <laughs> I've been, I've been to, to the South Africa, to uh, Senegal, to Mali, to Mauritania, um, to Tanzania, to, to Kenya. Yeah. Um, I didn't hear Ghana. Uh, no, you didn't I've never Ghana. been to Ghana. <laughs> See, what? I've been to Algeria. Ah, you keep on flying over Ghana. Why is <laughs> Terrible. It? Why is it? It should be next. <laughs> okay. And then uh, um, America, the United States, of mm -hmm. course, uh, um, wow. Florida, Philadelphia, New York, Washington, oh, D.C. All over the country. <laughs> mm. um, what did you go there to exhibit your work? It's always oh. for, it's always the exhibition that brought so, me there. So how many exhibitions are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> because I was looking through your profile. A lot. It's, uh, a lot. It's really yeah. Anonymous. Always the exhibition. Always that, exhibition. That, that brought Do me you there. mix a uh, business with pleasure or just strictly business? I try, I try, but you know, sometimes there are just too less time left to. to but, enjoy. but of course, you always try to mix, otherwise, mm. it will be too, too sad. Your first exhibition, according to your program, mm. was at uh, the Maison des Cartes. Maison des Cartes, Do you yes. remember it? Yes, of course. Tell us this, what happened. This was just the, the exhibition that opens the door for me, and it was mm -hmm. from Maison des Cartes, is the French uh, mm. cultural institution, um, and uh, I mean the the welcome. It was just so rewarding, you know. It was. Was that uh, after the interview or before? The yes, it was after the interview. Okay. All you know. this came after the interview. Wow, that yeah. was really good yeah. uh, interview. And, and um, you know, it was uh, just a very sim a symbolic place, okay. also French Maison des Cartes, which mm. was a it's great a very philosopher. High, yeah, and uh, I provide exhibition. 
Yeah. I provide. Yes, mm. yes. At that time, for me, yeah, it was know, a big uh, with an opening with people who yeah, were invited. Did you have to give a speech? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. No, no. Hello. Something I hate right away. But to give uh, a speech? <laughs> yeah. You let your yeah. work speak for you. I let the work speak speaks for me. Or mm. Other people do it, which okay. is of course. Um, mm, you don't like to make speeches. Not really, not really. And uh, you've met quite a, you must have met quite a lot of interesting people. Who are the people that make uh, the most impression on you? Um, the personalities you've met. You know, it's difficult to, because it's not necessary people who are known, who are the important you know, people you've met? who are. The, word, the known ones, you can tell us some of them. Oh, <laughs> wow! <laughs> God. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's, it's, it's I, 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 I find it difficult, no, important know. people. I mean, I know oh. a lot of uh, ministers, ambassadors, uh, president. Um, president uh, How many presidents have you met? Um, <laughs> <laughs> not much, actually. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> not much. Yeah, okay. And um, do you remember how many yeah. magazines have used your work? How many? Magazines have used your work? Uh, a lot. Hmm? Just a. Uh, how many magazines yeah. I worked with? Yeah. Oh, who no, uh, who have, how many magazines have used uh, your ma- material for you? A lot. You got to remember? A lot. But. Uh, five? Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> more, <laughs> but but which kind of magazines? Women magazine, uh, all kind. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> all over uh, the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> sounds from women magazine. Elle, Marie Claire. Um, You've been there. Yeah, China's China's Marie Claire. Mm-hmm. I've been in the. Uh, no. You can't remember. I, 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 you, okay. you know, you should see the, you should see my book. Okay, we, we go. yeah, but, uh, yeah. It's quite a lot. You know, when I have an interview, yeah. it's yeah. like you're gonna ask me in how many interviews you have had. So many interviews. Uh, interviews. You TV, remember them. radio. You but know, everything. I have them, and then it's finished. You know. No compiler. It's like, uh, oh. yeah. You recently came uh, from China with a book. Mm-hmm. What can you tell us about that book? Yes. Okay, that's your. Um, yeah. What is this? Oh God. Mm, okay. Yeah. Can you see? This is my uh, my uh, new latest, catalog. Yeah. Uh, last catalog. I mean, it's just from a few months ago, and it's. Uh, uh, showing uh, re- retrospective uh, mm. works, a compilation of works of uh, from 1985 till 2012. Okay. And this was uh, actually just my first retrospective exhibition that uh, took place in, in China, in Beijing this okay, year. Okay. Yeah. 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 So where can people get this magazine? Um, it's a book. <laughs> um, sorry, book. Where can this book? Um, where can people get this they, book? They, they just can order it here because you know it's a special, mm, special a uh, publication from, uh, um, yeah, for the exhibition. So it's 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 not that uh, an editor or also publish uh, publisher house. Okay, we're going to. So Show your address mm-hmm. so people are inter- interested can uh, contact yeah. you. Yeah. Wow. No problem. And um, in your work, you address the question of identity and uh, duality and strength. Yeah. You were born in Cameroon. You grew up in Paris. You are now Dutch. Have you resolved your own question of identity? And who is uh, Angel? Who is Angel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a good question. I think Angel is just. All that, all this, you know, it's um, of course uh, uh, for me uh, uh, the identity. The identity is, is not 
uh, limited to where you, uh, the, the place you are born, okay. you know. Uh, of course, you know you belong to the, you are from there, because it's important to know where you are from, to know where you are going to. But, uh, you know, I've been traveling so much, uh, and uh, I lived in so many places, I mean, mainly three places, mm -hmm. that uh, I, of course, I have been influenced by all these all these cultures, uh, all these cultures, mm -hmm. and and uh, um, I think it's it's uh, incredibly m it made me the person I am yeah, today, yeah. makes me the woman I am today, and uh, and uh, you know when I am in the Netherlands, I have strong moment that I really miss Cameroon. Okay. When I am in Cameroon, I half moment that I really miss yeah. the, the, yeah, okay. the Netherlands. Oh. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, I think I am just a project now of, uh, really cultures. of, yeah, of this mix and these different cultures mm. and, uh, uh, it carries me, it, 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 uh, it, it, um, uh, make me rich in a way, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I can deal with, with, with that. Okay. I can deal with that also because for me, um, being far from where I was born, yeah. from where are my origin, mm -hmm. um, I, can, I can find it back in the work I'm doing, mm -hmm. in my okay. photography. It's my way also to hold it. It's my way to... To hold on to the... Uh, Identity for yes, identity. To, to hold it and to 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 re, to remember no, the okay. things, Constantly you know. Remember it. Yes. But you mentioned um, the, that people want to categorize you. Yes. And that's the uh, the thoughts have to do with identity. Mm -hmm. And do you identify yourself as a Cameroonian woman trying to make a statement, or are you a Dutch person, or a global um, citizen? You know, I always. Um, I live 30 years in the Netherlands. Okay. There is no one place that I live for so, so, so long. long. Okay. Um, and I always uh, say I am from Cameroon. Mm. I will never, never say I am Dutch or I am... Uh, that's a question... Uh, very strange. Yes, yeah, very... It's, it's for me, I am from Cameroon. Um, so it, it's... it's I think it's it's. Um mm. No, it's it's a very understandable problem because uh, Franz Fanon, the French philosopher, philosopher yes. said that uh, Africans outside of Africa we all suffer from identity crisis. Mm -hmm. And we, no matter how long we stay in a foreign country, we still want we still think of ourselves as Africans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a few you share. Yeah, and I recognize this very much. Yeah. I recognize this very much because for years I didn't, I I didn't had ask myself these questions, questions and yeah. I didn't, I probe it. You know, I just realize how older I get, how more mm. I yearn for. Yes, very strange. Okay. But I knowing in my very deep conscience, mm -hmm. consciousness that I. Maybe we'll never be able to really live there, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's. Uh, so that's why I said we are uh, just. Uh, is this also the duality? Physically, we are here. It's a duality. It uh, is. And spiritually, it spiritually uh, yes. we remain. Yes. Uh, at, yes. We've spoken to a lot of Africans. And it's about this uh, duality, but also I I don't think it's only we from mm. different cultures, from two, three more cultures mm. who are dealing with that. I think mm -hmm. the human being in mm. himself. But we see other people, other. Like people come from Portugal or England, they come to the Netherlands. Within a generation, they become Dutch, and they say, "Oh, I'm Dutch," mm -hmm. and they feel Dutch. 
Why do we have that problem? Yeah, that, that is, you know, I often, I often ask to my mothers when I meet them, where are you from? And mm. they will say to me, I'm Dutch. Then I say, no, that's Yo. not what I mean. Where are you from? Where are you? You know, mm. I have three kids. Mm. If I, someone asks them, where are you from? They will always mention both culture. They will, oh, of course, their parents, their, born their father is, is Dutch. Dutch. They were born here, but they will always say Cameroon Dutch, Dutch. you know. Why is that? I don't know. I think it's, it's also the way. The way you way brought them up? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Because you always uh, keep in contact with the Cameroon. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm. And uh, that they. Do you use uh, the language with them? Or you speak uh, they Dutch? They speak French. And uh, Dutch. They speak, of course, oh, Dutch, yeah. but also French that oh, they can communicate. Have they been to oh, yes. To to Very often. I How brought do they find them it? from babies. The Cameroon. Yes. Mm. How yes. do they find it? Oh, they. It's different. There is one, the oldest one, who is very, very, yeah, uh, very, um, how you say this? Oh, I love forgot uh, my word. What do you want to say? Very near, very the close. Very to close, close to Cameroon with, to, to come and to Africa. Okay. And the two other in a different the, way, you know. Global. They don't have the same in necessity the yeah, as yeah. the other to go there. Like, mm -hmm. if you ask him to go every month, he you will, <laughs> you know. Okay, okay, <laughs> it's, okay. Uh, it's really, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And viewer, we'll take this uh, short commercial break. Uh, please don't go away. Okay. We're still uh, coming back to our sister from the Cameroons. program focus on Africans hosted by the popular Pan-African writer Femi Akpomolafe who has devoted his entire life to championing African cause. We are like this problem and try to look for solution. Focus on Africans is a program to watch to meet with those with passion to build a better African for ourselves and the coming generations. Focus on Africans. Together we can build a better Africa. Welcome back viewers, uh, the program is focused on Africans and our guest today is uh, Angel uh, Etundi Zamba, the proprietress of uh, Zamba Arts in Amsterdam. And uh, you were telling us about uh, the countries you've been. Yes, mm -hmm. so I've been also to Mexico, to wow. Cuba, uh, Colombia, um, um, Arab Emir Emirates, <laughs> Arab Emirates, uh, United, Arab Emirates. United mm -hmm. Arab Emirates, Dubai, um, of course Europe, uh, uh, All over Europe. England, uh, Scotland, uh, Spain, Italy. Uh, and all this for exhibition. France. Of France, yes, anyway, France. yes, all this. Denmark, Sweden. Uh, the Scandinavian. Um, yes, amazing places here. Yeah. And. Have you ever had thought of us asking for a diplomatic passport? <laughs> are you going to give me that one? Cameroon, I should give you a, <laughs> you are a good ambassador. Mm -hmm. Thank hmm? you. Thank you, yeah. Because yeah, that's true. Okay. Everywhere I go, I yeah. represent my country. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Have you ever crossed it's your mind to ask uh, for a diplomatic passport mm -hmm. from the government of Cameroon? That it's you've never asked. also fine without. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and uh, talking about the cities you've been to, you're going to tell us uh, the ones you find most interesting. Um, uh, why? <laughs> all of them carry me in a different way. It's Memories. Just, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, um, Colombia was very, very, very strong. South yeah. Africa, of course. Colombia, and South Africa. Okay. Yeah, Colombia, Colombia, what? because, uh, you know, I, I was places where uh, um, I visited all places where Afro-Colombian people okay, were yeah, living, yeah. lives, and uh, this was for me, I mean, just, uh, I mean, it was uh, phenomenal, it was yeah. gorgeous. 
In what way? find myself so far oh, from we, home yeah. among people who even didn't know where Africa was and uh, finding the same affinities, affinities and, really? and uh, this was okay. this was uh, amazing it was still, amazing you still uh, res they still resemble what you recognize uh, as african the people you met in colombia yes yes was it the same in uh, brazil yes then? i forgot brazil of course yeah. i also went the afro brazilians the afro brazilian mm also but in colombia it, it was it was strong and of course uh -huh. uh, you know uh, especially that there is the gap you know that they mm. kind of the just day. imagine what africa can be and w where africa uh, mm -hmm. could be you know uh, i mean a lot knows, but a lot Africa. just don't know. So you know. went to where the Af Afro-Colombians? Yes, mm. I, I, I did uh, many many places. Crypto, uh, mm. uh, of course, Crypto, uh, Cali. Uh, 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 funny, uh, it is nice you brought this thing up because the image of Colombia is about a violent, uh, drug-ridden yeah, yeah. country. So there are some good things about the country. Well, there are some good things, <laughs> of course. You cannot reduce the country <laughs> only uh, to negative things. Uh, but the violence is very strong there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, you can imagine that in such a country where mm -hmm. there are... Uh, I mean, so many, so many Afro-Colombians mm -hmm. and uh, they are living in s such uh, miserable conditions. conditions that it only can bring violence, you know. Um, it's yeah. difficult to understand. It's difficult to understand because, you know, when you make the... the the passage mm -hmm. just from Bogota to Cali. keep to keep though mm -hmm. Cali it's a nice city mm -hmm. but Cali you have like areas with only black mm -hmm. but the uh, really worst thing is Kipdo, you know uh, the poverty there or the shanty uh Kipdo is really the place where the blacks live it's mm -hmm. maybe 99 percent black people okay. you know and what is the condition like there <sighs> Bad, bad. And you went yeah. there. I went there. I went there because this was one of the places I needed yeah. to visit. But at the same time, I also find this proud, you know, this pride and this way of uh, this will of wanting to come out Into of your, you know, poverty or shanty town. Yes, uh, yes, and. Uh, and the joy of the people and the togetherness and uh, so you did the exhibition or you went there to to, to shoot i went to there to make to work I, I was invited by the ministry of culture of colombia okay. it was a project that was born uh, uh, here in the netherlands okay. where i met the the, 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 ambassador. the ambassador of colombia uh, mm -hmm. and he saw my work and he was totally fascinated and, got invited. and he said, these pictures, Angel, I want you to go to Colombia and to work, to picture the black people there mm -hmm. the same way you. And so he mm. introduced me to the Minister of Culture. They mm. came here and wow. uh, this is how the project was born. And it was, uh, it has been shown uh, for the celebration of the bicentennial of okay, Colombia. Okay, okay. What year was it? It was, it was two years ago. Okay, 2010. Okay. So it was just. So are they online? Great. Yes. We can find them online. Yeah. Okay, we've got to show the link uh, to yeah. our viewers if they want yeah. to see this. Uh, it was a great project. Mm. Absolutely. So, I mean, you know, I, I went there three times, two okay. times really for walking so and third time for the exhibition, and okay. it was like. Yeah, every day traveling from one place to the other place. Okay, I okay. went to the Pacific, to the wow. Caribbean, San Andres, and 
all mm. these places, yeah, was to meet with, with people, people, to yeah. meet with the Were they open? groups of women. Very, mm. very. Mm. For me, you know, yeah. for them, knowing that I was coming from mm. Africa, yeah. not speaking their language, language not yeah, speaking Spanish, like but looking mm. similar, yeah, it was, uh, it was just, Wonderful. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was it the same uh, in uh, Brazil? Uh, in Brazil, it was uh, different, uh, yeah. but of course the encounter and the meeting was just so strong. But mm -hmm. of course, it wasn't organized like in the same kind of way, you know. But uh, also mm -hmm. very, very interesting. Okay. And what <laughs> what makes me what surprised me in in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Now I went to Benin yeah. and uh, I discovered the exactly the same thing that I saw in, in, the Brazil. in Brazil. You know, the world is just one, one the thing. The Santeria and then the Buddha. Incredible. And the friend from... That uh, I discovered already in, in Cuba. Bra yeah, Cuba. And, uh, you know. I had a friend that went to Brazil. He said he was in his hotel. Mm -hmm. And uh, suddenly they were showing a program. They were speaking a language which was very close to his uh, language. I thought it was dreaming. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Africans still retain uh, a lot of cultural things we even have forgotten in Africa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you really could discover a lot yeah, of deep, deep, yeah. deep uh, culture. And the mm. features of the people in Colombia, I mm. mean, mm -hmm. I saw people there that I was like, hey, it looks like it's from it? my family. Yeah. Or, yeah. The way of cooking, the way of uh, preparing food and ceremonies. Yes. I don't know if you are from. Yes. Oh, we are speaking mm -hmm. offline yeah, now. But the same, exactly the same what? models of of, of, uh, uh, of food, of and dressing. They yeah. are so far away, you know. For a uh, gap of about six hundred yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, with this is a program where we talk about the continent Africa, our continent. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we've spoken about uh, your identity, about uh, what you like about Africa. You are very passionate. You've been away for a long time. What? Uh, why do you still feel so connected? Uh, I I think it's just <laughs> something in me. I don't know. It's yeah. it's uh, it's mm -hmm. you know you always ask yourself where is home, and I think home is just where you feel yourself comfortable. Mm -hmm. It can be many places, and mm -hmm. for me, it's definitely many places. But yeah, you belong to somewhere, you know. Mm -hmm. You you come from somewhere, and this is yeah. And I I I just Africa is for me the place where uh, still so many things remain to be done, you know. And I just want to contribute uh, in a way and, and I, I think want you're to doing be part a, of a big uh, contribution with and, your work uh, yeah. uh, showing to the other people to you know even if it's only a dream that I am selling you know mm -hmm. uh, it's good to to dream that mm -hmm. you can Make do that that you can come so far that and that you don't necessarily have to be you know, super talented, that we are all mm -hmm. talented and that, that there are things to do. And to and use that the you talent, you have to do some to make yes, a difference. Yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's, um, and mm -hmm. for me, I also feel that they need me probably more there <laughs> than, the than here. And that's also why mm -hmm. I like to exhibit so much abroad, mm -hmm. because I, I can know... project the country. Yes, mm -hmm. I can project things and... Uh, uh, I can show the other people that, yeah, mm. I, I, if I did it, you also you can, can do it. Can As do a sort it. of role model. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, do you mentor some Africans also? Now, you, your time, you have to struggle because there were no role models, mm -hmm. role models for you. But uh, now you are at the pinnacle of your profession. Mm -hmm. Have you taken it uh, to mentor some Africans? I did, I did. Um, also, the the work I did in Colombia, it was linked with workshops okay. and things like that. Uh, yeah. And uh, in my own country, in Cameroon, of course. Uh, and now I started my own foundation for street girls uh, in oh. Cameroon uh, since okay. two years. 
where uh, we also try to to educate them and to give them uh, mm, uh, 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 I mean to some training so, yeah and to training but to to help them to rewin their self esteem mm, and okay. to you know wow. to 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 have to mm. have, uh, have dreams and to have dreams and yes and to to wow how many children are you caring for them? well we are still raising funds and now we are just doing projects separate projects okay. like we, we we started one in in january okay. with 10 girls because we didn't have more mm -hmm. cameras to you know uh, okay. uh, to to include more girls and we are mm -hmm. going to to start a new one and evelyn uh, my Assistant? Assistant is actually the one who is doing the great, great work. Okay. Who is reorganizing the, reorganizing that, and and uh, so there are things to do. They do there are a lot, of, are lot of things to do. How often do you go to Cameroon? As uh, <laughs> much as I can. <laughs> this year I went one time, and okay. I, well, maybe before this. Do you have uh, connections with the official of the Cameroon? Do they recognize what you are doing? The Cameroonian government. Um, <laughs> I have connection, <laughs> <laughs> but no official recognition. Um, not yet. Not really official. No, no. no. I thought. Uh, sorry, this is a very sensitive uh, thing to say. So the indomitable lions are not doing so well. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> no! <laughs> Maybe the country needs the uh, ambassadors like you. <laughs> well. Okay. I I am always uh, I'm already the ambassador, no even if it's not official. No you know, okay. I just think I just I just uh, do your best. I I, ju I just do what mm -hmm. I have to do. You know, in in way to promote mm -hmm. my country yeah. and uh, Africa and uh, Africa, okay. especially. Yeah. On this uh, program, we try to. Also generate ideas about uh, what contribution. Individually, we're doing okay, and uh, we're doing our best to promote Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, what lessons you've traveled a lot across the world? What lessons do you think Africans, we in Africa, can take, can borrow from other people to make this work better? Uh, one is definitely one. What is definitely one of the best lessons is yeah. what I learned from Chinese. And that is is uh, uh, they are very um, what is united it? or they patriotic? Are, they are very united. Okay. Um, um, but I'm looking for the word, mm. a good word. Not the patriotism. Uh, try to find the word. You know it in uh, Dutch? No, yeah, I'm looking it in <laughs> for it in French. Oh. <laughs> okay. They, they, they are very solidar. Oh, solidarity. In solidarity. In Chinese, have solidarity. Yes. Okay, solidarity. And uh, I think uh, if mm -hmm. we Africans we were more solidar, mm -hmm. that we will, you we will go places. Yes, we, go far. we will go far. We will go far. So you think, uh, which is uh, also and very interesting that you brought it up. Because when I talk to Africans around, uh, I've moved around talking to people like you. Mm -hmm. We are we think African when we are outside of Africa, mm -hmm. but when we get to Africa, then we start thinking I'm Cameroonian, I'm Kenyan, and uh, why yeah, do we? Why yeah, yeah. Uh, but but even here, I yeah. mean, even abroad, we still think. Uh, mm. Uh, that we don't have we that are, uh, solidarity. Yeah, we don't have that solidarity. Mm. Uh, we, you know, we don't, we don't like when our brother, our sister is doing something good. Is is going far? Is getting far? We don't carry him. We don't. Okay. We don't appreciate know. it. We don't appreciate we it. We don't. I don't know. It's it's. Um, I don't know what it is. Okay. I don't know what it is, but. If we kind of could work on that point, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. we will go far. We will go far, mm -hmm. and uh, 
Yeah, this is always what I, especially in China, I, mm -hmm. I saw, I thought his people are working together in such a way, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Like they, they have a common goal. They have a common goal and it's not, we, yeah, we are ego. more individual, mm -hmm. we are more mm -hmm. our ego, we are more like, uh, what you get, I'm gonna make sure that I destroy it. Or okay, what you you know, but without knowing how you get it, it yeah, how hard, hard you have been working okay. to to get yeah. it, and uh, yeah. Okay, I think it's so called uh, the pull uh, pull him down syndrome. Mm -hmm. When uh, somebody's at the top, uh, some other people try to be envious, yes, and then yes. So you think it's a and big uh, problem? Um, it's one of our well, biggest problem. It's one of, but I think it's a big one. Mm -hmm. It's a big one because you know what we need is to uh, uh, encourage each other. Yeah. What we need is to gather our forces, our strengths to 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 move forward. To yes, uh, and uh, you know it's it's we need. We are in this world. We need to be together. We mm -hmm. need to work together. We need to do things together. Okay. Uh, women, men, people from different cultures, nationalities. We are. We are in this world to do things together. We just gonna have to do deal with that, whether we want it or not. Okay. You know, so it's okay. uh, That's a good lesson. It's important to understand that. Okay. Yeah. To promote uh, solidarity among the Africans, mm. we should have more solidarity. Mm. And uh, from countries like France or the Netherlands, what lesson do you think Africa can learn? Uh, yeah, directly. I mean, there are, all, of course, good things in each culture. Mm -hmm. I mean, you also can ask yourself the other way around. What can people I learn from us? We are, we are going to talk about that. You know, I <laughs> always think, yeah. uh, also in a way, we are fed up to be the one who always have to learn from, from the other, but you know, uh, at a certain uh, moment, to to the from. other but also some must... Some Africa mentioned like a discipline, that in Africa we don't keep appointment, we don't uh, have... It depends, it depends. Mm -hmm. It's, I think, uh, what is really bad is to generalize, mm -hmm. you know, huh? because there are Africans I know, no, time them. is so important, okay. and just don't dare to be late. Uh, yeah, it's it depends of the people, it okay. depends of the appointment, it depends of yeah, also of how they are raised and all this, but it's not, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, no. to ask uh, the other question, what le what do you think Africa should not try not to copy from Europe? Uh, the individualism. Huh? individualism. Um, the way your um, uh, Western people, uh, I say Western, mm -hmm. not only your Western people, mm -hmm. treat their um, their old older okay. one, eh? okay, dear people. The, the old people, um, um, can you explain that? And for the benefit of our viewers, uh, what yeah, what I can explain, you know, uh, I, I, I will just go back home years ago, the mm -hmm. first time I went back to Africa after mm -hmm. 15 years, mm -hmm. uh, uh, not, not being there, and I decided then to make a special uh, reportage mm -hmm. work on getting old. Okay. I was 25 at that time, but um I already have noticed how different it is to you know the respect that we have in Africa for uh, our our parents for our not for our parents for our grandparents okay. you know because the connection me I also have been half raised by my grandparents mm -hmm. and the relationship that we have with our grandparents that we consider as kind of wise person, wise you person, know, yeah, yeah. Um, we it. is is here less and less. How older you're getting, yeah. how uh, less, less, less you have to say 
or better you Keep close, you shut your mouth even. Um, mm. And so I think this is uh, something, we should, something we should never lose. What we should never lose is to take care of our parents uh, and uh, instead of, yeah, uh, throwing them in uh, in old people houses okay, and yeah. all this and uh, you know but instead just mm -hmm. give them um, um, <laughs> yeah you know in Africa the grandparents often take care of the them. of the small one so and the old stories? old person are mm -hmm. always in contact with mm -hmm. the smaller one that's and this, That's yeah, and this is how the transmission also yeah. happened, you know. Uh, and this, in is humanity is human, you yeah. know. Yeah. It's something which I think Europe the really knowledge have to be passed is, from uh, is losing, yeah. yeah. And the family, the family mm. is getting smaller and smaller. Mm. It just has been reduced to the father, the mother, the children. The other people doesn't really count. don't really count anymore, and it makes it difficult when there are conflict, when there are okay, you yeah. know crises, when the children have problem that mm -hmm. you know. Then they have to rely on police or the court system to say to the problem. <laughs> Whatever, but I think okay. it it's it's uh, yeah it's a, a lost, it's a lost. Okay. This is one thing, and of course. Um, yeah, just the way we, in a way, just mm -hmm. kind of care also for each other, you know. Yeah. Uh, um, just the, the solidarity the, in in another way, mm -hmm. in another way, you know. But it's funny uh, because um, in traditional African society, it's we are losing those things also yes. because. Uh, as you mentioned, when you are growing up, everybody is connected. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. You don't go, you don't have too much to eat while somebody is uh, hungry. Mm -hmm, everybody right. is you share the little right. food you have. You can eat with your uncle or your right. what, wherever you are hungry. You, there's food in the community. You know, it's then, never in Africa. Um, what we, what is here? Mm -hmm. You can spend three months, even one year. Mm -hmm your neighbor will die you will never you will not hear it you will not know it you will not hear a scream or someone cry or in anguish if a neighbor die in africa you know how it goes you know you know how it goes if someone is sick you know how it goes uh the the bondage solitude in this country it kills people you know it kills people and really, when you don't have children, when you don't have, then it's very hard. Yes, it's difficult to imagine how you go through life. Because then, that's why so many people are connected to members. They are member in this. They are member Nobody in that. They are member in this. Just to, connect you know, to just to connect. But the I real human contact, the real human. This is something. The of technology course, is playing the roles of. Uh, it plays a role, okay. absolutely. But okay. still, but it's still, not the even before the technology mm -hmm. became what it is, mm -hmm. it was already okay. like, uh, yeah. So, uh, you are very passionate about Africa. And what are your visions for Africa? Oh, just <laughs> that the best year has to come. The best yeah. year has to come. Yeah. And we have to work towards it. We have to work towards it and we have to we have to stop uh, considering ourselves as victims, yeah. you know. Yeah. Because you that time is just over because, yeah. and uh, you just have to do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone has its responsibility in that and it doesn't matter who you are, I think Every little contribution you can make, you can do to, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's just great. But we all have to make our little contribution. Yes, <laughs> yes. On a personal you level. Oh, yeah. Leave it to other, other all people, the time. People, yeah. or leave it to government. Who is the government? <laughs> yeah. And uh, to run it up, uh, Angel, what are your own uh, plans for the future? <sighs> Yeah. More countries to visit. More countries to visit. 
Yes, also. <laughs> More exhibitions to make. More exhibition because this is just my passion. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Continue to creating as long as I got the inspiration. Yes, yeah, yeah. And to share and, and to show things through my photography mm -hmm. that we can change other people's vision or mm -hmm. and to meet people because this brings brings me a lot satisfaction. You know, satisfaction a lot Not of only the money. Oh, the money def is good. definitely less mm. money than <laughs> satisfaction. <laughs> the money is good, but the, the meeting people is Meeting uh, people, uh, mm. you know, the people capital, the, the human capital, capital yeah. is, the, is the most important. important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The money will come. Or not. Yeah. Or not. You know, for me, I cannot really say that, yeah, if I had to do this, what I'm doing for the money, then mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it uh, brings me satisfaction, satisfaction, consolation. Oh. It empowered me. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I can look back at something and say, yes, I, I did and it. Did your best. And uh, yeah, that is enough satisfaction. It's, 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 it's important, but also mm -hmm. what it does with other people. And of course, it released me, you know, creating mm. is, is uh, bringing out what is in there. Okay. And yeah, when it's, when it's immortalized, then mm -hmm. it gives such a good feeling. Yeah. <laughs> the final, final question, what do you draw your, from where did you draw your inspiration? Um, from my daily life, my, my daily life, the mm. people around me, uh, my dreams, aspiration, um, uh, questions, eh? the mm -hmm. questions I have from, the, from life, wow. from daily things. So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't really need to go f wow. far. To get the inspiration. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful talking to you, Angel. Thank you very much for... Thanks for inviting yeah, for your me. For your contribution you to much. Focus on Africa. It's Thank very, you. very interesting. Thank you. Wow, <laughs> viewers, uh, thank you very much for watching this edition of uh, Focus on Africans. And uh, I hope you will agree with me that it has been a very interesting discussion with uh, Angel uh, Tundis Samba from uh, Cameroon, now living in Amsterdam.